You're going to have a fabulous time with this next man. He wants, works all over town, Mr. Mark Stetson, everybody. Mark Stetson! Hello, comics! Woo! How's everyone doing? It's a big crowd, yeah. It's a big crowd. Um, this is a big week. It's a big week. Had a lot of holidays. Uh, who, uh, who, uh, who celebrated Easter? Yeah? Woo! Passover. Huh? How about, how about both? Who celebrated both? Who switched? Yeah? Nice, nice. The switch hitters. I like it. I, I was a switch hitter this week, too, and uh, I actually found out there's another pretty big switch hitter. Um, Jesus. I, uh, I didn't know this, but, or until this week, that the Last Supper was a Passover Seder. And actually, weird thing, I was looking at Leonardo da Vinci's uh, you know, painting of Last Supper, which is what I do every Passover to remind myself that crime doesn't pay. <laughs> <laughs> and what I found was rolls. Rolls on the Seder table. I know, right? Right, Jews? <laughs> that's, like, that's like breaking the first rule of Passover. After the rule that you don't talk about Passover. You, you don't eat leavened bread on Passover. You eat matzah. You eat an oversized saltine that is terrible. Which is why you have to eat it for eight days. Because as we all know, Jews are really into torture. And I'm thinking about it. I'm like, Jesus has rolls on the Seder plate? On, on the Seder? What's, what's going on? And I thought about it and I realized, okay, logically, Jesus is the son of God. He has to eat matzah? He has to eat something he doesn't want to eat? I mean, I know Jesus is like, is, you, know, he, you know, he knows torture, but come on. So Jesus, like any of us, halfway through Passover, wakes up and he goes, you know what? I would rather die on the cross to eat this one more day. So what does he do? He gives his body for bread. His body is bread. Brilliant. You're welcome, Catholics and Christians. <laughs> but Judas, Judas is sitting there and, you know, Judas is a good Jew, maybe. And he's sitting there. I mean, Jew, Judas, I mean, the Bible names don't lie. <laughs> hey, what you got there, Jesus? Leavened bread. Guards! Take him away! Take him away! See, Judas is only doing what he was supposed to do. Just, you know, he got a bad rap. Speaking of Jews and bad rap, I just moved to Brooklyn. And, um, and uh, I moved to Bed-Stuy. And any of you who know Bed-Stuy, it's amazing. Because you've got projects next to Hasidic Lubavitch. And I live right on the border. Which means that I live on the one block in the entire city where gangland warfare is forbidden on Saturday. There is peace on the Sabbath. And it's incredible because if you walk around there, if you're in the subway, you'll see uh, like in those, like those, those double movie ads that they have in the subway, the reader next to Medea goes to jail. They're really playing to the demographic. <laughs> and bed is the one place I've ever found where they have Chinese restaurants with bulletproof glass. <laughs> bulletproof, like what's going on in these Chinese restaurants? Like, give me all the money to register and a large uh, sesame chicken with white rice. White rice. The brown clogs me up. <laughs> yes, I'm yes, it's for here. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> there's, also, um, there's also this bodega on the corner where um, every time I go in there, there are younger and younger kids ordering beer. Um, and they're not like growing younger and younger. They're not, they're not Benjamin Button, that's weird. They're just like, like last time I was in there, a kid could have been older than 12 years old. And he's buying a 40 of Old English. Sorry, a 40 of Old English. When you move to the area, you really have to start speaking the lingo. Otherwise, they know that you don't belong. <laughs> Although my tight shirt and Converse don't give it away at all. So the kid buys a 40 of Old English, unscrews the top, puts, puts, a, puts a little baby bottle nipple on it, and walks out. <laughs> like, that's not right. Like, like that, 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 that's what the world's coming to? I don't know. That's all I got for that. Uh, 
But as far as bodegas go, they've got a whole, they've got a whole different way of pricing things. You walk in there, not a price tag in the place. Uh, last time I was in there, I got like a six pack of beer, a roll of toilet paper, and a candy bar. And the guy looks at it and goes, $11. <laughs> really? Really, Rain Man? You got the whole place memorized? <laughs> Did I really get the, the only three objects? Did I crack the combination of things that, that, all, that all equal up to an even number? <laughs> I, I, I refuse to believe that. And Subway. Subway is the, the, the total opposite. Five dollar footlongs, give me a break. It's five dollars and 42 cents. And I don't know, I'm, I'm usually not a stickler, but I lost my job, money's tight. Those 42 cents mean a lot to me. And, and you walk in there, you, they say five dollar footlongs, you put a five dollar bill on the table, you're not getting anything. What they need to do is they need to change the whole slogan. Five, five dollar. $5.42 footlongs because we didn't put the, the tax in the commercial and our bread sucks footlong. Because the bread is terrible. They have six varieties of bread. You'd think they'd get one right. And you know what? If Jesus gave his body to bread, I'm not impressed. Thanks, guys. I'm Mark Stetson. Have a good night. Everybody, give a going for Mark Stetson.